Okay, so we're gonna start under the pinky line. Even though I get so scared of the repercussions of saying no, I love myself. I accept this about me. And I'm going to get really good at saying no. Even though I'm still scared of the ramifications when I say no. I love myself enough to keep testing no. And right now I just accept where I am in this journey. Even though I can still get scared of the aftermath of my no, I love myself. I accept myself completely right now. Crown. This fear of ramifications for no. So familiar. Inner eyebrow. I'd like to not worry after I say no, but just be clear and free. But I'm not. Outer eye. I'd like to be totally fearless saying no. And I'm not yet. Under the eye. I'd like for no to be just a very simple two letter word that's completely appropriate to say. Under the nose. To anyone. About anything. Chin point. I really hate it when my mind grabs on to the fear of saying no. Under the clavicle. I can even be ashamed of the fantasies of what the repercussions are going to be. They could stalk me, they could hurt me, they could expose me on social media, they could lie about me, they could go ahead, fill in your stuff, y'all. Side of the ribs. Sometimes I actually just disrespect myself for this. And that feels awful. I'd like to walk myself through this kindly and just keep building the muscle. Brown, this is such a normal human thing. People in general are afraid to say no to certain people or for some to anybody. There's nothing to judge. Inner eyebrow. It's just true that there are some powerful personalities in my world. In everyone's world. Outer eye. It's just true that my child self comes forth like everybody else's. The small me who didn't want 
the parents mad at me or the teachers mad at me. Didn't want to get in trouble. Didn't want the mean kids at school talking about me or bullying me. Under the eye. Right now I call forth some past images of myself and I gaze upon them lovingly. under the nose. Right now I tell every inner me, sweetheart, you've done nothing wrong. Even if you don't like what you did, you're just a human being learning and growing. Chin point. Sweetheart, just because they got really mad, really sad, or they felt really hurt and accused you of hurting them. That doesn't make it so. Under the clavicle round. I know I developed strategies that had some people pleasing in them. I was even taught by certain grown-ups I wasn't allowed to say no. That was inappropriate or defiant or disrespectful or just not allowed. Side of the ribs. Right now, I forgive myself for anyone I've given that message to. Maybe I've turned that around in close relationships or my own children. Just, just let in where you've done that and forgive yourself. It was taught and turned around. Across how many generations? Brown. Right now, I honor the evolution. We're evolving culturally as a human race and individually. Inner eyebrow. Right now, I honor my evolution. I have grown so much. Outer eye, I've learned so much. I've redefined so much. Under the eye, I've developed my courage. I've learned how to do scary things. It's okay that I'm still scared sometimes. under the nose. I might be scared sometimes till I die. I'm willing for that to be part of being alive. Chin point. I love redefining no. I love just seeing it as the right answer. It feels really good on some level to say no when no's the right answer. Under the clavicle. I'd like to know that so clearly that no just comes out anytime it is the right answer. Side of the ribs. I look forward to when there is no ramification inside me when I say no. Uh, 
I feel at peace with no. Crown point, I know I'm heading that way. The evolution is underway. I'm in progress. It's happening. Inner eyebrow. And I can't control the outer ramifications. Outer eye. Just right now, it's okay with me if someone's angry because I said no. Just right now, I'm breathing the possible okayness of their anger. Under the eye. Right now, I remind myself that I don't have to receive their anger. I get to have a boundary with that too. Under the nose. Right now, I can't stop manipulators from manipulating. Right now, I accept that. Chin point. I'd like to not have a bar, but with the concept of manipulation. People manipulate. It's okay. They're just trying to get their needs met. Under the clavicle. And I get to be someone who's not manipulated by your anger, your accusations, your sadness, your disappointment, what you turn around and say about me. Side of the ribs. Right now I affirm that I don't live in a punitive universe. And I just want to keep knowing that on a deeper and deeper level. I am not about punishments. Round. So if someone punishes me for my no, I'd like to not even notice. Or I'd like to effortlessly move away from that. Inner eyebrow. I can imagine leaving them to work that out. Whatever got so upset, whatever got called up in them that upset them. I leave them to it. outer eye. I wish them well in healing that, dissolving that, working that out. Under the eye. And I'm going to keep learning how to put it down when I notice I'm holding it. I want to feel the weight of it and put it down because that weight is not mine to carry. under the nose and it's always for me to soothe myself when I'm thrown off by your punitive or manipulative ways chin point right now I recognize the ways I used to feel more unsafe than I do in the world more scared of more bad things coming in to hurt me.
under the clavicle. And right now I acknowledge that one way that still plays out for me is fearing awful things that could happen when I say no. Or draw any boundary or tell a hard truth, whatever it is. Side of the ribs. I've seen my courage grow and it's gonna grow here too. I've become more self-referential and I will more and more. I know I'm a responsible, good person. It's okay if you're calling me something else right now or telling others I'm something else or broadcasting that I'm something else. I'm gonna leave you to it. Crown, I am safe. It's safe to say no. I am guided. Much of my safety is my guidance. I know, I know the right answer. I know to move away from something. I know to put down my mental focus. I can feel that it's off to have it on you and the ramifications of my no to you. I'm good at course correcting as I go. And I'm just going to get better and better and better at this fearless no thing. You drop those hands down, one cupped inside the other, palms up, and just breathe. Take it in. Relax into the aftermath of the tapping. Just take note of anything sticky that you might want to come back to. And when you're ready, open your eyes. <laughs>